Welcome to Reading Through the Bible with Elder Linda. Well, this is going to be a, a short, abbreviated version of the sinner's prayer with an explanation. So we're going to just jump right in and say a word of prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for everyone that's tuned in to this channel. And we pray, Lord God, that you would save all those that have a desire to be saved and to come to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So first of all, we want to just jump right in and talk about why do we need Jesus? Adam and Eve sinned by disobeying God and eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, which tree God specifically told them not to eat, not to eat of. Now, during this video, I'm not going to really read any of the scriptures. I'm just going to explain it. And I'm going to encourage you to go to the more detailed video which is a teaching on salvation that's going to be on this channel as well. But right now, we just this is the abbreviated version. So anyway, Adam and Eve disobeyed God by eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And their sins separate them from God. And God had to kick them out of the garden. There was a tree of life that was also in the garden. And had they eaten of the tree of life, they would have, eaten, they would have lived forever and in their fallen state, and God did not want them to live forever, so they had to be banished from the garden. So because of their sin, everyone born after Adam and Eve was born into the world as sinners. That's you and I, those cute little babies, everybody's born as sinners. The only remedy for our sin problem was to have someone die in our place. Someone had to die to take our punishment. So for God to fix the problem, God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die in our place. All we must do now to be free from sin and the sentence of death is to accept Christ into our hearts. Once we accept Christ into our hearts, we become new. Our sin problem is solved. God now sees us through Christ's sinlessness, through Christ's righteousness. We become a new creation. Once you accept Christ into your life, he begins the change process. He begins to change you and to mold you and to make you into that new person. Some habits are going to drop off immediately. Other habits might take a little bit longer for God to deal with. But the point is that the change has begun and we will not stop changing until Jesus Christ comes back and finally changes us into our glorified bodies. So be patient with yourself as you start this change journey. You're not going to be perfect overnight. And don't listen to the lies of the enemy who's going to try and tell you that nothing happened when you said the sinner's prayer. Accepting Christ into your life is the best decision you will ever make because it determines where you will spend eternity. So we want to thank God for Jesus, for all that he did for us, because he caused us to be able to have a relationship with God again. The relationship that Adam and Eve destroyed, he's, Jesus Christ and him dying for us caused us to be able to have that relationship again. So are you ready to give your life to Christ? This is real. You only have two choices. Either you're going to spend eternity in hell or eternity with God. And God doesn't want any of us to spend eternity in hell. So receive Jesus today by repeating the following after me. Lord Jesus, I know you are Lord. I believe you were crucified, buried, and resurrected for me. I know you died for my sins. I repent and ask you to forgive me for all my sins. I ask you to come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. So what's next? I want to welcome you to the family of God. Start reading your Bible on a daily basis. Read a scripture a day or a, a chapter a day. Begin a prayer life. And prayer is just conversation with God. Just talk to him like he's your best friend. Tell him your deeper secrets. And remember, he already knows about you, so there's nothing that you can say that's going to shock him. And then ask God to lead you to a church or a fellowship group of Christians where you can grow and learn more about God. Amen. So I wanted to say a quick prayer with you in the name of Jesus, Father. I thank you for all those that have accepted Christ into their hearts. 
Lord God, continue to lead and guide them, Lord God, and teach them all truth, Holy Spirit. Show them, Lord God, more about yourself. Father, be with them. Strengthen them. Keep them safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. Lord, and we just thank you for them, that you have them in the palms of your hands. And we give you all the praise and the honor and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. So I would even encourage you to go to the uh, teaching that's on my channel called Teaching on Salvation. Because in that teaching, I give all the detailed scriptures that you need to know uh, so you can understand what's going on with you and uh, understand the journey of your salvation. Amen. Amen. God bless you.